Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a prince who had been outcasted by his fellows rose once more. He was known by many. Whoa, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut. I think we got the wrong story here. Uh, let's start over. Today, Samsung S23 Ultra, we're gonna be doing a day in the life. I, right now, I've been planning this day in the life for the past like two days. I really wanted to do an, just a more interactive video for you guys. I wanted to do something different. And right now, the weather outside is just horrible. Let me show you. So yeah, basically, this is what it's looking outside. You can't even really see it. Oh no, man. And you know what's the worst part? Let me see if I can open this really quickly for you guys and just give you guys a quick look at what it's looking like outside. Look at that. It's just straight madness. This guy's down bad. He's, he has a flat tire in the front. It's not, good. it's not looking too well for this guy. Currently, we're sitting at 99% battery on the phone. Doing pretty good. It's pretty bad weather right now. It's not going to stop us from doing the video. We're going to be going as scheduled. I'm going to show you the weather right now. It's not looking that good. It's just minus eight and I I don't know why it's snowing. I don't know why it's there's bad weather. It there's literally no point. The last seven, the last five to six days it was just great. We're gonna be heading out. I actually have to head out pretty soon. I'm gonna be hitting the gym and we're gonna be taking this to the gym. I really wanna try out the Samsung Health app. As you can see, I already have 300, 341 steps for the day. Very, very small amount. I have a 6,000 step goal for today, which should be pretty easy to attain as I'm gonna be outside for the better part of the day. We're gonna be doing a couple of things. With that being said, uh, let's get on with the day. Also, I really need a haircut. As you guys can see, my hair is just all over the place. I'm gonna be heading out to the barbershop. I have an appointment at 12.45. It's currently, conveniently enough, I have the new Samsung S23 Ultra, so we're gonna be taking a look at the time here. It's currently 9.15. I have to head out soon to the gym. Let's get it. Here we are, guys, outside on my way to the car right now. Oh, no. Look at this stuff. Oh, I have to get all this stuff cleaned. No. There we are, guys. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, what's up? I really have to get... This is one of the problems I have to deal with here in Canada. But anyway, guys, I'm glad to have this new gear with me. Hopefully, it's going to be all right. It... Snow seems to be blazing from all sorts of ways. It feels like... I really feel like... I mean, you know that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio called The Revenant. Feels like I'm in that movie. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's, <laughs> it's probably not one of the worst days we've had in a minute and that goes a long way, like that just says a lot. Completely frozen, can't see anything, it's absolutely horrible. As I mentioned several times in this video guys, it won't stop me from making this video. The vlog and the day must go on. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a setup here going on. On my steering wheel, this is, what is this? Oh boy, this is not the best idea I've ever had. Yeah, this is definitely not the best idea I've ever had. Cheers! Yo. <laughs> um, so we're currently sitting at 98% battery on the phone. So yeah, currently the weather, guys, is not that great. Minus eight outside. It's 9.43 a.m., 98% battery, doing good. Let me just show you what I'm working with. We're actually gonna test the camera out right now. Take a picture here. I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. This is what you guys look like right now. Oh, that's a sharp picture. Hold on. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. That's good. Wow. Oh, that's some... Hold on. All right, let me take another one. Let me take another picture. Let's try and see you get a better lighting here. Oh, my God. There is a high level of definition on that. I like that. This is what the front-facing camera looks like and sounds like. It's pretty solid. This is what you guys... This is the setup I got going on right now. I got my old Gorillapod with the Sony here and then the microphone. It's somehow all holding up together. I don't know how, but it works. We're finally back on the road. It's kind of mad out here. Not gonna lie, guys, I really miss vlogging. I think it's really fun. You know what I hate? They, they, they recently blocked the street, like down there. They blocked the street, and now we can't have access, which is creating this jam right here, as you can see right now. It's creating this jam, which is it's just horrible. Like, why? Oh. But yeah, at least we got the car going rolling back in business let's get it finally made it i parked the batmobile now i'm making this my way inside the building guys you know there's the classic day in the life vlogs where everything looks good and then there's this type of day in the life where the weather is just absolutely horrible 
Say hello to the vlog. Oh, there we are. Hey guys, what's up? So making our way up. What you looking at? Hey, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Uh huh? Come here, where are you? Come here, you cam are you camera shy? All right guys, so I'm currently at the gym with the phone. We're looking at 97% battery. I haven't used the phone really, I've just been kind of going around with uh, things, but I'm gonna be starting to track the uh, my workout. So we're gonna use the app Samsung Health. I'm just gonna open it up here for you guys. So it's still counting my, my steps and all that stuff for today. We're currently at 1.7 in terms of steps. Probably gonna hit the 6,000 mark relatively soon, so I don't think it's gonna take the whole day. And I'm pretty much gonna track like other stuff on here, so Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I want to get your raw reaction. That's okay, so, so yeah, sick. Like the raw reaction is yeah. I would I would really get this phone. It's so nice. Like like right. My phone in comparison, one the size of my phone is so small, but also like I like the quality of like the phone. It just feels so. It feels premium. It feels premium, but not only just that, but it feels so good in my hand. I feel like I'm holding like my phone. It doesn't feel like I'm holding like this brick. With iPhones, I feel like it's a brick. It's like yeah, a tiny little go. brick. It's I don't know. For the most part, I really love the phone. It's such good quality. It's so, like so sleek. The design is nice. Like back in the day with Samsung's used to have the extra borders on the side, which yeah. now you don't really need because it kind of just does it itself. It has this kind of like gradient on the side, which is really nice that I really like kind of. It, it has this, when you're looking at it straight on, it kind of shades on the yeah. sides, which is yeah. really nice. And overall, I think the phone design is really nice. I like the fact that it doesn't curve. It's a very sharp edge, which yeah. makes it easier to hold and to, to do things with. I honestly like- I'm telling you, me too. The second I got it, I was like, yo, this is sick. The, this I, feels I feel really like, good. I really feel like a next phone I'm getting would be one of these for sure. It's really, really nice. Nice, huh? The, uh, yeah, I, I definitely would convert to a Samsung after this. iPhones are just, they're good, but they're so like, they lack access to so much shit. It's, ugh. <laughs> So guys, in this game room that uh, Nick has here in his uh, complex uh, apartment building kind of thingy, they have a pool table and I suck at pool, but I really want to play. So let's jump right into it. Oh. Bro, okay. Yo. Okay, okay, okay. 4K. Okay, where did I go though? Or do you have to pick it out of the pocket? Oh, I think you know, you have to leave it there. Okay. Well, it's because usually you pick it out of the pocket. definitely improved and at the end I think we were both coming to a stalemate but yeah. it was pretty good it was a fun match and your last shot was actually impressive kind of clutched out I won the last game I needed at least a one win because if not my dignity would have been uh... <laughs> in the gulag all right guys so I'm on my way to the barber shop I need to get my haircut done because as you guys saw in those last clips my hair does not look that good
as I'm taking some time here to catch in with you guys this is pretty much the midpoint in the day I'm cutting my hair um, my barber is actually one of my closest friends and actually every time we I go to his place to cut my hair we do end up chatting for the most part we uh, I don't really try to spend time on my phone as uh, we are really good friends and we do catch up on life and everything that's been going on around and so yeah that's pretty much it I didn't use my phone I know a lot of people have the tendency to sometimes go to the barber shop and they're on their phone scrolling or whatever I just wanted to let you guys know that my barber is one of my closest friends so we did end up chatting for that most part so I did not use the phone and that did not affect the battery or drain in any shape or form but yes haircut was very well needed as I was due for a long time all right, boys and girls, just got faded, you know what I'm saying? Your boy needed that because I was looking kind of, kind of whack. I'm not gonna lie, dude, there's a Ferrari out here. I don't know if you guys see those mags. Look at those mags right there, baby. That's Ferrari. Sheesh. I don't know why he's driving a Ferrari in the wintertime, but it's kind of clean. Sheesh. All right, guys, so I need to head out to the store really quickly. I need to go buy some stuff. My mom asked me to help her out, and I'm going to go do that. I'm going to help her out. We need to buy a couple of things. Right now, we're the update on the phone. Um, battery percentage, we're looking at 93%. Still holding up pretty good. It's currently 155. Pretty good for the most part. I think it's holding up really well. Wait, I do have a couple more things planned out for the day. So well, hopefully that's going to be fine. So guys, I just wanted to touch up, touch up really quickly on uh, Samsung Wallet. It works really good. Like I just set up my debit card here and it works really fast. It's really convenient. I'm about to go inside the store and I'm going to buy something. So I want to try the Samsung Wallet. I'm going to try Samsung Pay. So this is what we're going to be using. I'm going to bring it inside the store. So yeah guys, currently inside of the store, I need to pick some stuff up for my mom, as I mentioned. It's obviously always weird to vlog in public situations, especially here in my area. People just don't seem to understand that YouTube is a job and people do this for a living. So yeah, right now I'm at the store and I'm looking for some, some milk actually, and I need to get some cream, some 35%, but I just can't seem to find the 35% cream. I'm showing you guys right now, as maybe you guys can point it out, maybe I missed that out in the video, but just can't seem to find a 35% cream. So fast forward, I'm now in a different store, the same store but in a different location. So I can't seem to find a 35% cream and it seems like it's not here anywhere. I just can't see it. I just, I mean, there's one that's on sale but it's not the big size. I need the big size and I just can't seem to find it. So, <laughs> struggles of being a vlogger. So after searching through the alleys for a couple of minutes, I ended up finding all the products that I was looking for and I was making my way to the cash and as you can see here guys, I'm using the Samsung Pay. I had my debit card set up and the process is pretty simple. Obviously you just have to use one of your unlock systems, so whether that's Face ID or Touch ID and then you'll be able to pay the process, uh, to pay the payment and it's going to process too. It's pretty simple, really easy method. that living hell out of me oh my god all right so a little update i'm heading inside my place right now i'm gonna drop off the stuff and then essentially what we're gonna be doing is i'm gonna take a quick shower because every time i get a haircut it's good for me to take a shower So as most of us are already pretty guilty, I do have tend to spend some time on my phone when I'm at the bathroom. I was actually scrolling through uh, Instagram, through a bit of social media as I'm taking a quick shower here. And I also want to take a quick moment to remind you guys that if ever you're interested in picking up a case for this new Samsung S23 Ultra, you can always check out Caseify. I still have a 15% off discount code if you guys are ever interested. So links are in the description down below. As I'm taking a quick second here to actually just lay back and chill as I had a pretty busy morning, I'm using the S23 Ultra to browse on the internet, look through the social medias. I was actually just catching up with you guys on a couple of comments on YouTube and I actually did spend some time watching a couple of videos. And funny enough, lately I've been catching myself actually a lot on Twitch and I've been watching a lot of streams. So I did use the S23 Ultra to watch a couple of streams, which was actually really enjoyable. And after that, I did take a little bit of time for myself. I worked on some videos and I checked on some emails, all that stuff. And I do have to say that this was one of the parts in the day that I did use the S23 Ultra uh, more extensively and the battery was holding up pretty well the experience was really nice I think the phone is just great honestly just for like everyday usage it's really awesome all right guys so fast forward a little bit in time I know it's been kind of a time skip here as I'm getting into the car really quickly let me just what we're doing is as I promised in the video I do want to test the nighttime photography on the S23 so right now as you can see guys 
battery is at 67 percent which is pretty good now keep in mind i did want to mention this the um the overall day in the life that i'm doing here isn't the most accurate per se because i generally don't use my phone that much on a day-to-day -day basis I do spend a lot less time so i think right now my screen on time would probably be like maybe like two hours or three at tops i did watch a couple of videos earlier i was on twitch and i was following a couple of streams and i also was watching a couple of youtube videos and i just laid down i just <laughs> I had to take a second to breathe because I'm just not used to going out and about and vlogging like this. Capture my energy, I also had to charge the camera, so that's why we took a break. But now, I'm gonna be heading out a little bit in the city, and I'm trying to take some, some nighttime pictures with the phone. I think it's gonna look good, I can't wait. I wanna try it out, it's pretty promising. We have a 200 megapixel camera, I wanna put it to the test. All right, guys, so I just made it to one of the locations here. I'm gonna be shooting. There's a spot right there. I just realized it's so cold outside. So what I'm gonna do... I basically parked up the car. I found a spot here. I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna give I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a preview. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this is the little spot I was talking about, guys. I want to try the camera here and see how it performs in the night. We came to shine here. All right, so here I did a quick camera test. As you can see, regular picture, it's focused, it's nice and sharp, no problem there. Right now, I have picture one, two, and three. These pictures are taken consecutively one after the other, so really quickly, and there's a couple of frames in between each. And you'll notice that the first two pictures are blurry and the last one is focused. There's a slight delay in the shutter speed and the performance on the camera. So if you go ahead and you snap pictures really quickly, you might run into this issue, especially in the nighttime. Now also do keep in mind that performance is always going to be affected by outside circumstances so for example if you're going to take pictures during the daylight the sun is completely shining and it's super bright you're obviously going to get the better picture there compared to like if you're going to take a picture in a very dark alley you're probably not going to get the most resolution and the most fidelity out of that picture keep that, those things in mind again a little another pointer it's a Samsung device, it's a phone, it's a smartphone. It has really good capabilities. It can take some really fantastic pictures, but it can never beat a dedicated DSLR camera or just like a professional photography camera. Keep that in mind. If you are hoping to create some like actual professional content with this phone, you might not get there. So just wanted to give a quick disclaimer as a lot of people do have the impression that, oh, you have three huge cameras on the phone. You can create like cinematic professional content. You, you, you can get close, but you're not gonna get exactly there. So there is one more aspect about the phone that I think is really, really nice. Now I do have it caseless for, the, for now. I've been using this phone for like the last couple of days and I have to admit that in the cold weather, it does seem to hold up pretty well. I haven't seen any slow down times with the phone. It's been holding up pretty well. As you can see, the screen gets really, really bright in the outdoor situations. Now it is nighttime, obviously, so a lot of phones will definitely not struggle in the nighttime. There's also, this is a quick look at the always on display. I don't know if you guys can see it really quickly. If I tap the screen, you'll see it right there. But yeah, for the most part, this is pretty much a wrap up on the day. It is currently 8.56. As you can see on the time, we're looking at 65% battery. So that photo sequence, the video and the photo shoot didn't take up as much battery as I thought it was gonna take which is good so yeah for the most part I do believe that this phone is really businessy ish is really nice and clean but you definitely need to pick up a case for it because if you don't you're definitely gonna be slip it's gonna slip off your hands I have right now I have gloves on and it, it just feels slippery and feels nice but it just feels like I go whoop, just drop it any second so I would definitely recommend getting a case for this so yeah guys I'm on my way to the car right now it is insanely cold outside I did not anticipate it to be so cold and I think that should about wrap it up for today's day in the life I do have one more thing I do want to cover up for you guys and that's the uh, the S Pen that's featured inside the phone. So once I get home, we're gonna get into that. There we go, I think that should be a lot better. Got some better lighting, so yes. As I was mentioning earlier, um, I did not use the phone as much throughout the day. I did try to use it as much as possible. So we did use the Samsung wallet. We did use the um, 200 megapixel camera. We tested out the video quality and all that stuff. So I did get pretty much the most stuff out of the way and I did get all of the things I wanted to cover for this video. But like I said, I just generally don't use my phone that much in a day-to-day -day basis. So it would still be like, at the end of the day, rather this is my main phone or whether I'm using my regular phone that I have on a day-to-day -day basis, it would be the same thing. My screen on time would roughly 
gravitate between three to four hours. Sometimes it would peak at five, but that would be very rarely on very few occasions. Okay guys, so I wanted to test out the S Pen for you guys on camera. As you can see, if you pull it out, it's gonna start detecting the pen and it's slowly connecting to it. As you can see, if you take it out, it is connecting and it is now connected, I think. So if we click on screen, it works. Now you'll have here on the side of the screen, if you pay close attention, there's a little pencil icon. If you click that pencil icon, you have the drop down menu for all the options. Obviously, if you create, create note, this is your quick note, you can create whatever. So let's just write anything. And it obviously had to be in the darkest color possible. So let me just switch that, put a color that you guys actually can see. Now let me write something. So hello. Hello guys. I, oh my God, that looks really bad. That is not a Y. There you go. Hello guys. So you got the, the writing experience, I have to admit, the writing experience on this phone is really, really solid. I do have to say the S Pen is really good. So obviously guys, if you wanna do anything else, like you wanna draw or anything, you know, do a smiley face, do a heart, do whatever you guys like, you can do that with this pen. And obviously, whenever you're done, you can just insert the pen right back into it and it's gonna start, the phone is gonna get this little vibration effect that it's gonna know the pen is right back into place where it should be. And that's basically it, so you can back out of this and there you go, you always have access to it as soon as you take the pen out. Okay, so really quickly, as this is a day in the life, I did want to mention something, I wanted to feature something into this video. This is completely off topic, has nothing to do with the Samsung or anything, but I did want to feature it in this video as I think it could interest some of you guys. So I do, I do really enjoy sketching and drawing as you guys <clears throat> probably know. You may have seen in the background of some of my videos, there's a couple of paintings, I have them hung up in my room. What I want to show you guys is something I've been picking up. So lately I have this sketchbook that I got around Christmas time, which was probably like, not this Christmas, the one before that. I got this sketchbook as a gift and it's been really nice. I've been working on a couple of things. As you can see, I have a Dragon Ball sketch that I'm working on here. I still need to finish this. I kind of work on it every now and then. I just kind of bounce in between sketches. I also have some other drawings here. So I kind of have this like unanimous, kind of like abstract drawing, which is pretty cool. I also have this one that's kind of inspired by this drawing I found on Pinterest and I thought it was really cool. I put that to the side. What I want to show you guys today is I've actually been working on <clears throat> these two sketches right here. So as you can see, this is a design of a Porsche 911 G3, GT3RS. I think, yeah, this is yeah, this is a Porsche 911 GT, G, GT3 RS. I always get it mixed up when I say that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I, I kind of have this artistic way, you know, this is, I kind of sketch with whatever pencils I have. I had a red pencil at that time on point because the car was red, the image I had, the reference image, I was a red car. So I decided to do that. As I kind of show you guys a little bit of the process here on how I typically do these drawings, this is a really good way for me to kind of doze off at the end of the day. When I'm feeling a little bit tired or when I'm feeling a little bit in my head, I like to draw. It really gets my mind cleared, allows me to really relax. But for the most part, that's going to be pretty much a wrap up on this video. I really want to know, are you guys going to be picking up the S23 Ultra or better yet, how did you feel about this video? Did you like it? Did you enjoy the day in the life? I really do plan on making some more of these in the future as they were really fun for me to do as I'm taking a quick second here to go through my nighttime routine and I'm getting ready for bed. Let me know guys, S23 Ultra, what do you think? Is it a the flagship phone of the year? Do you think you're gonna be picking it up? If you are, let me know in the comment section down below as I always love to hear from you guys. And we have one last message from today's host. So here we are wrapping up the end of the day. I'm actually using the S23 Plus as a source of light to finish this video off. Uh, time is 11.30, so it is pretty late at night. We're also looking at 52% battery right now, which is pretty, pretty good for the most part, but I don't really use my phone that much on a day-to-day -day basis. Gotta be honest, I've had a really fun time using the S23 Ultra. It's been a really good experience. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be heading off to bed uh, right about now. I'm gonna get some rest, I need to catch up on that.